Recently, my kids started shooting archery at school and I wanted to make a target for them so that they could have an 80 centimeter target face like they're shooting there. There's no wood or metal in here so they won't break any arrows and also it's very easy to pull arrows out. Additionally, I made it extra deep so that you can shoot it with heavy poundage compound bows, crossbows, and stout two rivers long bows. It's got a flat face on it so you can pin paper targets onto it and score accurately, and it's a lot cheaper than my previous target while still being fully repairable. For cutting out the two inch thick foam insulation, I'm gonna use a razor blade and a straight edge. I wanna measure in 14 inches from the side. I'm gonna use my ugliest side for this. So we'll have a 14 inch strip. We're gonna cut this into three pieces that are 32 inches long. Then from the remaining piece, we need to get two 34 by 34 inch pieces out of it. Then the off cut from that, we need one more remaining 14 by 32 inch piece. I've got all the pieces cut. After I had cut a couple with the blade, I switched over to the table saw because I'm making two of these. I knew it would be a little bit faster. A circular saw and straight edge would also probably work fine. Now we need to glue it together. I have this PL Premium Loctite construction adhesive. I don't really think that it matters what kind of adhesive you use. I have this on hand, so I'm gonna use it. Just make sure that it works for foam board. And the plan is, is to put the back of it down on the ground and then I wanna glue the side pieces onto the back and to each other going around in a circle along the edge. Then I can take these little two inch by two inch strips that I cut from the off cuts and glue that on to help secure the back even better. I left everything to dry overnight and it's nice and stable with the construction adhesive. One thing I did notice is I used too much when I was doing the first one and so it was hard to get the foam to stay put. So I had to wrap a little bit of string around it, but that worked really well with the string just holding everything in place. We need to fill up the box with something to stop the arrows. And I think your best two options are scrap plastic or fabric. For plastic, you can use grocery bags or sheathing, any of that kind of stuff. It's nice because it's pretty light, but the arrows are a little bit hard to get out. Fabric I think is better in that the arrows are easier to pull out, it has good stopping power, but you need to come up with a lot of fabric to fill up this box. Old t-shirts and clothes I think are the best, just make sure there's no metal in there or it's gonna defeat the point of this metal-free target. After compacting it, I still like the material to be about half an inch high because I know it's gonna settle a little bit over time. So with it set like this, we can put the top on. We want to attach the top, and I think there's three different ways that are gonna work pretty well. You can glue it on, which is nice in that you have a nice seam all the way across it, but as it gets chewed up over time, you're gonna to have to add another panel on there or fill it with spray insulation, foam, or things like that to help seal up this nice flat surface. What I recommend instead is to use some string and wrap it around each of the four edges to hold it in place. That way you can remove it and move things around inside or when this gets chewed up over time, it's replaceable. Now, an even easier way to remove this on and off is I made these 3D printed screws. And so you just wanna drill three holes per side. I recommend using 12. You can do it by hand to screw it in to the side pieces or I made a 10 millimeter hex driver in there to attach the top on. Now I know that not every target is gonna work in every situation. If you want a target that's a little bit more durable and will handle broadheads, check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.